This is a symbol for overprotecting parents, overprotected children. So when they have their first real contact with failure or worse, genuine malevolence, because it's out there, it's everywhere, they will not understand and they will not know how to cope and respond to such real evil. They have no defense. It's like an immune system. Our immune system, every time we have a virus or bacterial infection, our immune system builds antibodies to the said virus or bacterial infection. So we build our defenses all the way from a young age, from infancy. And we build a strong immune system. We're building a defense from the world through exposure to negative experience, to a virus. Just like an immune system, a child needs adequate exposure to negative emotion, negative experience, pain and suffering in order to build their own foundation of defense against the world. If they don't, they will not be prepared for when that pain, suffering, evil, virus, bacteria infects them. It's the concept of that Aunt Nasim Talib talks about, anti-fragility. It describes that a system needs to be tested, challenged, and shocked to develop a framework of defense. For example, I've heard uh, Jonathan Haidt talk about that they're actually not in his school that his daughter attends in New York. The kids are not allowed to exclude each other on the playground anymore. They're not allowed to express exclusion. Hold on. Exclusion has been a tool for uh, necessary group relationship dynamics. You exclude people in a tribe who are not valuable members of your tribe, who are harming your tribe, or who do not provide any, any, any value, right? Every member of a tribe will have a serve a purpose and has a role. So what happens now, now 2019, we don't live in tribes anymore, but we still have communities and we still have uh, groups of people and we have social structures and social dynamics and, and competence hierarchies. So what happens now when we mitigate or eliminate our, a child's ability to express the necessary fundamental ability to exclude another? then the kid doesn't understand social structures. Children have, are supposed to have thousands of conflicts and challenging social interactions from insults to teasing to exclusion to learn how to adequately deal with the reality of social structures, of relationship building, of communication. So if you put your child in a world where they don't get excluded, teased, insulted from 0 to 18 or from 0 to 3 or whatever time period, what do you think is going to happen? What type of what type of person do you think you're going to mold? We're starting to see it. Little snowflakes walking around who are very sensitive to insult to YouTube comments insulting them. Facebook, Instagram, people, keyboard warriors, people are being seriously affected by this epidemic of snowflakes. Snowflake syndrome. <laughs> I'm being facetious, obviously, but people are being uh, very affected by uh, a comment somebody makes on their profile. And because they haven't been adequately exposed to real insults and exclusion and maybe they have but they haven't learned to deal and, and learn how to handle and maneuver through these real sorts of conflict 
It's not about exposing someone to excessive suffering and exclusion or conflict. It's about exposing them to the necessary amounts for optimal development. So they can sufficiently be prepared for the world.